Hello? Oh. <laughs> uh, thanks for having me. Um, I've been talking to Yuko for a couple of weeks now, I think. Uh, where is she? About coming out um, over here just to talk to you guys and to meet all of you. Um, for me, it's an honor to be here, um, to be, I guess, reached out by a group of people um, that kind of goes back to your culture is huge for me. Uh, I don't know, everywhere we play, uh, not many Okinawans. Uh, so I don't know, to me this is really special. Growing up, a lot of the kids around me were Japanese, just a lot of Asians. And I was one of the few that were mixed. Um, a couple of my friends are Hawaiian, but uh, it's just interesting to see, you know, all of us growing up together and we went to the same schools and then um, even family get-togethers is, I was always surrounded by Okinawans, Japanese, and uh, even at UW, at uh, University of Washington, same thing, but then I got to the national team and there's only like three Asians on the team. and. Uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy because they know I'm Asian and then they're like, why are you Japanese? I'm like, no, and then I say I'm Okinawan and they're like, what? So, uh, I don't know, it's, it's fun to be around the girls on the team. Uh, we compete at such a high level and if you look at our team, the United States team, we look so different. Everybody on the team looks so different. When you look at any other team, you have you know some similarities. So I don't know. I think for me, it's been kind of cool being one of the only Okinawans on any teams I've been playing on. My mom, who's the mixed one, she's Hawaiian, Chinese, Irish, and English. And then my dad is full Okinawan. So uh, growing up, everywhere that I went, I was always surrounded by good people, and they always told me to work hard. So. I think that's come a long way for me. Um, it's helped me for sure get to where I am today because as you can see, I'm not the tallest, um, definitely not the fastest or the strongest on any teams I've ever played on, but I try to work hard all the time, um, be a good teammate, and th that actually takes you a long way. Uh, so I don't know, I think when I talk to, at least when I talk to younger players, and that's one of the things that I like to talk about because um, I don't know, I think a lot of people want to be good, but they're not willing to work that hard, so. Have you No, I, I have not. Um, it's, been, it's been a dream of mine since I was young. Um, hopefully one of these days, we have some friends there, and me and my brother want to go there really badly. My, our grandparents wanted to take us, but they're kind of getting a little old, so. We might have to go by ourselves, <laughs> but uh, someday, someday, and it's something I really want to do, so we'll see. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe, maybe soon, but for sure when I'm done playing, if I haven't. About? <laughs> okay, so uh, growing up, my grandparents always cooked. And so from the dishes they made, I don't know how authentic they are. <laughs> my grandma would always make nishime. Okay, that's good that I'm getting these <laughs> responses. Uh, but I didn't like it at first. I didn't like it at first. At first, too many vegetables. Too many, too many things in there I couldn't recognize, right? So as I got older, um, I started liking it more. But my grandma makes really good nishime. And uh, it's one of my favorite that she makes, at least. But uh, we have, you know, we have this tradition in our family, at least, where uh, growing up in New Year's, all at least our Okinawan side would make dishes, and our family would just go around to all the houses and eat. So I've had my fair share of <laughs> food. Um, now that I'm older, I think I like almost everything. But growing up, you know, well, not too much, but. Uh, when I was, I think, seven or eight, um, I, well, me and my two brothers, uh, we, I think maybe for a couple years, we're doing Okinawan dance. So 
I have seen that before. <laughs> I don't remember anything. I, my teammates always want me to dance. I'm like, it was so long ago, I, I don't even, yeah. So that was really good for us to get in touch with that culture, you know, growing up. It, it was around us, but um, it was good to be a part of it. It was good to, uh, you know, show up for practice and uh, make a commitment to something that is part of you. Uh, so I don't know, I really like that part. And then, of course, there's, you know, all the Okinawan festivals that happen. <laughs> and so, you know, we grew up going to those. And same thing, it's good to see all the perform uh, performances. And um, up until a couple years ago, my brother was still dancing. And he's, now he's 26, so, yeah. So our family, you know, we have a little bit of culture uh, still left. And a lot to learn, obviously. <laughs> but, yeah, it's, you know, it's, part of me forever and I don't know it's good to feel I don't know it's good to be in the presence of you guys I guess so